Hello, welcome to Patrice's Projects. Today is just one of those days. Uh, it's not really a project, but maybe it is. Let me show you what I'm talking about. One of the drawbacks of planting multiple types of uh, uh, seeds in one tray is you get different germination rates. You see right over here one of my peppers has sprouted and the other one, which is the same type of seed, is sprouting right here and these others have not sprouted at all. There's two different types here and then these two are the same as each other. But these are on a heating mat and once you get germination you should remove your your seat or your tray from the heating mat and then you know just start growing it up under your lights or in sunshine. Well I can't exactly remove just these two cells from the tray or from the mat They'll be fine on there. They like heat, but it is better to remove them once they germinate. The other drawback is when you dump the whole tray. This had, I think, four different types of tomatoes in it. And you see one of the little seedlings sitting there in the dirt. And it looks perfectly healthy, like I could just pluck it out of there and put it back in the soil. But I don't know what type it is. And again in here, look at those. They look really nice and healthy. These germinated maybe three or four days ago. And they were doing great. Look at that. It looks like I could just plop, put it back in the soil. But I don't know which variety that is. And I was growing one for my sister, one for myself of each variety. And now I don't know what they are. And I also like to know what type of tomato I'm putting at what area. So as I was cleaning it up, I thought, hmm, that's a drawback of planting multiple types in one tray. So now I get to clean all this mess up and start over. And here is how it happened. I had my tomato seedling tray sitting on the back of this shelf and this lettuce was further toward me and I didn't see the tray behind it and I thought I should shove the lettuce closer to the window so it gets better sun and I shoved it right off the shelf into the windowsill banged there it landed stuck over here and that's how it happened thankfully boxcar Willie had his own little cup so that one I won't have to start again, but I will have to start one for my sister. While we're on the subject of tomatoes, here's the top of the Prax cherry tomato plant that I had cut off, and then I cut most of the leaves off and I put it in water. It was pretty straight when I put it in the water initially, and it immediately started to bend. It bugged me at first until I thought about this, and once this whole stem here starts growing roots that's just more roots further down that I'll have so it's going to be a much stronger plant and here's that sucker that I was saying I should cut off but I won't and I noticed I don't know if you can see it on here how the whoop sorry about that you see how the stems have that furry stuff on them that's what will become roots and down here, let me see if I can get better, on both stems, the hairs are beginning to thicken up right at the water level. So I'm going to have some really nice strong roots for both of those. Uh, the clone is for my sister, and so she's going to have a really awesome plant. And when I cut all the leaves off, I'm going to try and turn this around so you can see it. When I cut all the leaves off, there was this little sucker here that was tiny. And I thought I had pinched it off, but apparently I didn't. It's still alive. I'm thinking I'll have all these roots on there, and then this is going to shoot up like a whole nother plant. So this is going to end up with three really strong plants coming up from the soil once it, go it roots and I put it in soil. It'll have three completely separate uh, stems coming out of the soil and as the plant grows up taller I'll put the soil further up and 
then it's going to have suckers off of where the leaves are coming out here and so it's just going to have a lot of nice branches or stems coming up from the soil because I'll bury part of the sucker down in the soil too so that it can also grow roots and become even stronger. This is going to be an amazing plant. And here is the tomato plant, the Prax cherry tomato plant that I had taken the cutting off of and it is just doing fantastically. Um, I don't remember the date that I actually cut the top off of this but it is probably six days ago and at the time my suckers were just little tiny things down there. This one I'm not even sure if it was showing up yet but they are coming in really fantastic. I'm really pleased with the uh, progress oh, this is so blurry there of the plant and even up here at the top you can see a nice healthy sucker coming in and over here so it's doing great and I'm lo really looking forward to harvesting cherry tomatoes inside the grow room since I already did the video on planting the tomatoes in the first place I'm not gonna go ahead and uh, have you go through that with me again but thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. It wasn't a project, but it's going to be a project for me. <laughs> I'll talk to you next time. If you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that now and then click the bell button so you get notifications of the upcoming videos, like when these germinate again. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.